All right. Finally back racing, we're going to Lebanon, Missouri, I-44 Speedway for the Show Me State Showdown this Saturday, May 30th. So we'll just be practicing all day Friday. Saturday we qualify at 4.30 and we race at 6.30. All right, we're taking two cars, so we're gonna be racing in both races, the CRA Super Series and the CRA Jigs All-Stars Tour. I-44 Speedway has shared a set of guidelines for fans and participants for COVID-19 safety. Masks are highly recommended, but not required. So we have our new TBR masks available on my website, travisbrayton.com. Visit the I-44 Speedway Facebook page for additional details. I-44 is selling a limited number of general admission tickets. So we've all been stuck inside, so this is gonna be a great weekend. Get back out to the racetrack and have some fun. If you can't make it to the racetrack, of course, you can always go to speed51.com and watch live. I-44 Speedway was a really special track just because um, Team Platinum and I made our first ever start together at I-44 back in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so um, Mike Stacy was driving our race cars. So he was having surgery and we okay. needed to go I-44 because we were running for a championship. So I needed a driver. I had a short list of drivers. He acts like he was all in charge. I was, absolutely. Um, the top two drivers, Daniel Hemrick and Travis Braden. And the other was uh, Chuck Barnes. So those three drivers were on the list. And so I called Daniel and he's like, yes, I'd love to do it. Calls me back an hour later. Sorry, can't do it. So I called Withers because you know our history, we really didn't even know each other for the most part. I mean, if we did, we were fighting. I think he told Travis, she ain't gonna believe me, he just called. And Travis is like, well, what's your stuff like? Blah, blah, blah. I think we were racing at Berlin. Berlin. Yeah, we were racing at Berlin. I think we were in between practices at one point, and Justin's like, hey, I got a, he texted me, cause he was in the spotter stand, and he was just like, hey, I got a really interesting call, you'll never believe, but we need to talk about it as soon as possible. But like after practice, but before qualifying, I'll come down and we'll talk. And uh, cause he knew I wasn't gonna believe him if he was texting me that Mark was getting a hold of me. So Mark had been working with- uh, Another team. With another team that we'll, we will not disclose cause we don't want to give anyone extra exposure. But uh, <laughs> another rival team that was, they thought I was their rival. I definitely didn't know that they were my rival, but. So we just didn't get along with the team. I didn't really know Mark, nor yeah, did I really I have much. I don't think that we ever spoke actually he was just guilty by association in my mind so like right off the bat i was like well, he's an a he's working on those so it was surprising that mark texted justin or called justin because yes. mark had been working for a team that you did not get along and with. you would have thought not only did i have a you know, negative opinion of mark but you would have thought mark would have not wanted to talk to me or get a hold of me for the same reasons but I was smarter than that. So, so he says now. <laughs> the oddest part really was your dad and I, because yeah. we actually so were the, the ones that were arguing with each other all the time. No one had really ever had any problems directly with Mark besides my dad. And of course, if you know my dad, he's at every race. He's always right there. So the first time we did show up to the first race, it was like, Oh, well, it was there. actually like, in the shop. Oh yeah, they did come to the shop. So, Travis and Don come to the <clears throat> shop and met me at the shop. And I think it was, honestly, I think it was just the three of us that were in there <laughs> and talking and they were looking over the cars, you know, obviously wanted to know what kind of equipment it was. They really didn't have a much history on us at the time because we were just starting out really. Yeah. Was it called Team Platinum back then? Anyway. It was Platinum. The, the team, I, the, yeah, the Verba family had raced at Kilcair and Columbus and Shady Bowl, um, just the local, you know, local stuff like I had been doing. Didn't know Mina, 
um, didn't know anyone else. I just knew of them, but I didn't, you know, we didn't have any prior relationship. It was all just because that year they wanted to start racing touring yeah. series and stuff. We, and we did, and then that's and then Mike why Mike come. And it gave him an opportunity, and we went out to I-44. And so we picked this 19-year-old <laughs> kid up at the airport with his suitcase a thousand miles from home. <laughs> and he's got to get in the Suburban with the rest of us. I can't imagine what he was thinking, to be honest with you. Well, and then I get on the racetrack for the first time. And it was like almost right away the motor blows off. Like, big time. Like, oil. It was big. Oh, no. It was, it, it was like it? second it was, session. Yeah. No, because we were pretty good on the chart. I have, to, I have to confess this. So I feel like I've always put pretty good race cars on the racetrack. Right? So, honestly... I was nervous. I was concerned that I was going to give, a, I don't know, maybe at the time, a, a six-time, five-time series winner, a two-time champion, a good race car. I was, I was nervous as to what he would think of a race car. But, like, after the first practice session, he was like, this thing's pretty damn good. You know, I think he said, this is one of the best turning cars I've ever had at the time. So that took a big load off my shoulders and then that allowed me to be like, okay, cool. I feel yeah. like we got something to start with. Heck, I think we qualified for work or something. Track Second. record, but Nemechek was oh, that's faster. Right. We were like two tenths quicker than the third place We had a car. really good run. We, blew, we broke an engine on practice night, Friday night. So we went on to run good in the race, but I think we, we got tight. We had problems, it didn't go the best. We finished fifth or sixth. And yeah, just and, uh, I think we just got tight. I mean, I don't think we got tore up or anything. Just so but. after so after we ran our first race, it was kind of an unknown what we were going to do, but we ended up. You ran with the rest Platinum. of the Jake series with us. Yeah, so you yeah. ran the four hundred in your. Yeah, car. and we ended up winning the Jake's Owners Points Championship uh, because they had run at least two, one, two, you know, a couple races with Mike, and then ran, we ran all the races as a team, but just two different drivers. Yes. So I think we still almost won the driver championship. It was even missing two races. I think uh, Dalton down. Armstrong won it. So, but anyway, uh, we we hit it off pretty good at I-44. You know, we had some success. We had a really good run, and I think everybody was happy with what was going on. And mm -hmm. so we went to Burke's run. We qualified second and finished second in our second race. P2 Posse. <laughs> the start of it. We need to look up statistics to see I how have. many second place, especially just for me in general. I have it all. even before. <laughs> I have it all on my computer at work. It's crazy. I feel like we probably have like 40 second places. You know, that was a short list that we had, and Travis was up near the top. There's no denying his ability as a race car driver and his intelligence although sometimes i doubt that <laughs> I <knew he> was <laughs> i'm kidding but anyway i mean he's a professional race car driver period we want to go fast we want to win and that's what we did what's it like working with travis people would ask me and i'd be like i don't know how to describe him he's just fast and that's the truth he's just fast that was a really generous answer compared to what i expected you to say <laughs> Well, working with I, me I, is a I pain never in said the you are a pain in the ass. I never said that to you, to him. I never did that. I'm smarter than that mm -hmm. until now. Mm -hmm. But really, people <laughs> would ask me. I don't know how to describe it. He's just fast. He's just fast. I mean, it, he gets it done. <laughs> There are all the names. Okay, there we go.